Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share it. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> ah! No, no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Has an excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. <laughs> I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later. Oh no, my costume. I absolutely have to put my costume back on. Ah, come on, always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. The Rain Stones! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick, Wash! They're here! Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. Right. Oh, 
Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's a lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster. <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once. Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am. Came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. of the year. <laughs> Look, all you had to do was unplug it. So why didn't you tell us sooner? Let's just say it's going to allow me to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please! Let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. Bah! My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down! And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P. You. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on! Taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing, the idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, behind the garbage can! <laughs> an unusual cat dance. Honey, that cat has never ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. But how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. There he 
Yes. yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hotel Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. may have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble! <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Give me back my kibble! Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. <laughs> Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner! Uh, we'll never get it open! We're goners! And these silly costumes which are too tight. Well, since we got no food... With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your... <laughs> Service? <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> Uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Go 
coast is clear. Whoa, hang on. What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. No, oh, no, six, they're on their way. Five, We're goners. Three, two. Phew. Congratulations. You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. He's still asleep. That's a good sign. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead. What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> Whoa. This job sure isn't easy. Yum! Pizza toppings! Right! I take your silence as a yes! Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella! Anchovies! Capers! Mushrooms! Olives! Sam, watch! Quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam, no! <laughs> Sam, what? Quick! We're running super late! We've got eight minutes to deliver the pizza! Otherwise, we're going to wind up as toppings! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make it over this bridge! Come on, let's go! We're gonna make it! Oh no! The bridge is rising! We gotta make it across! Otherwise, we'll never make it in time! I can't watch! We made it! Okay, that's great! So we deliver the pizza, and that's that! Right on time! What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! <laughs> what in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in! Me neither! Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! 
We gotta deliver the pizza. We can't let him make that call. to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible! Crazy! You all look like you're in tip-top shape! <laughs> It even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. Yeah. Oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. He's so cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? Huh? You okay? You hurt at all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. Was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? <laughs> Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. <laughs> to you, I don't want to know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A ball blows for no reason? 
Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? Yeah. A spooky ghost thing? That's right! Lock all the doors! Turn off the lights! Call the science police! I want every test possible! Honey, look! The TV is working again! <laughs> That's weird. It's like it's coming from you, GD. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Livingstones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you can find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we going to do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature? You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-it-all here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-it-all, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. <laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Higher, Eugenie! It has to hit a cloud! That way the electricity can... Pity we can't say the same about you. What? Did I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the living stones don't see you like that. This time it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? Suze, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Aha. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiantus. Is it serious, Doc? How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Use this do it yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <laughs> it was 
much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's gone and done that? Huh. Uh, I should have listened to Miss Know It All. Huh? Thick! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig yeah. a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamp! We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her! But, Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle! It's the only way, Sam! <laughs> you stopped glowing! You're right! You think I'm cured? Yippee! <laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge. In the name of the law, I arrest you. Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off. Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One, two, three! Wait for me! So, what are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. <laughs> Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shut eye, okay? Look, honey! Eugenie's back and she's been cured! The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us. He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone. Your rabbit escaped. Escaped? Not at all. She's here and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yeah. 
What a cinch. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37 point eight! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Wash! So, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready! Uh -huh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? It's awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones, nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected mm -hmm. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell. And kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Wash, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Oh, Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> And what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yeah! Mmm, delicious! Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started! Come on, try a little harder! You promised to make Sam happy! No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee! His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty! The sacred cat he was, he left even the dogs and 
Even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> that was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the Second. Glory be to Samses the Second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samses the Second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies 2 is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> dang, such a thing in front of your very own sister's terrible! <laughs> You alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Hi. Uh. snoring. Enough already. Ugh. Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and, uh... Be right back! Ah! Ah! Honey? Did you hear all that ruckus? Honey! Uh, there's somebody in the living room! No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <sighs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Four, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, 
Susie, you managed to get rid of the money. Sam, quick, put this on. <laughs> you see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yeah! <laughs> and I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But that's extra light kibble. I can't believe it. The Living Stones made a mistake. You really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Chop, chop, hurry on up. It's the Neighborhood swap -arama. Drop <laughs> on by, shop and swap. Exchange and change. <laughs> this swap shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Blush. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're gonna tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow! There's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. <gasps> huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. They look like laser specks, like in the dog from outer space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specs in the royal chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken! Yeah! Chicken! Hey guys, look! Cool! If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens! Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh, uh, uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs or roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Phooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We gotta find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. <coughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when they're petticent? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, <laughs> Shoot! There are no roast chickens in the yard! Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs. Now give them here! Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality! Incredible! Did you see, Sam? Hmm. Yeah? Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin Efficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! Yeah! Anybody want some? So, tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, no. It's a catastrophe! What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them please. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser-known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. No, oh, no! I can't go back to the forest while I should do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. yee <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specs! <laughs> They're my specs! I saw them first! Huh? Ah! Wild animal! Run for cover! Super villains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buds I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild yeah. boar! <laughs> the youth of today, they have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm. I'd better go test them out indoors instead. <laughs> I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! It's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. Get out of the way! 
Hey, you're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little supervillains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Ow! But I've got him! Uh? No! Ready, Sam? Farewell, Rose Chickens! Who turned out all the lights? Huh? Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Sweetie Pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <laughs> Scam. It's obvious. A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists! My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything! Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. He must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut-eye. Abracadabra! <sighs> Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens, we got Vic. Yeah, it's true the picture does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? 
sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your food? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Oh. If that's the way it is, we're gonna make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure, with pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. <laughs> if we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. <laughs> hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. Perfect! We can make our flute from this! Hey! It's the sculpture I made in art class! I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing! You found it, honey! I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Oh. <laughs> Wash, how are we going to find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Oh. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is going to be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flirt is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! <gasps> huh? Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flirt, Play-Doh! Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! <laughs> What on earth? <laughs> oh, no! A a boar! Boar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. Ugh. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Yeah, of course. Anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Shit, it does the same thing when I why haven't they been magic like with Wash's flute? Maybe we're not playing the right note. Uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Yeah! Huh? Yeah. Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Were we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? Uh, 
I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> ah! It's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> he really doesn't work like Wash's flu. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? <sighs> hey, do you think this flu works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works! Here! Our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Hey! Wait for me! <laughs> Get your earmuffs on, Sam. Shh, you're gonna wake up the guard. Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down. I know. It's because he wants to play. Come on, boy, punch! There, that got him. So, but... I think tanks are in order. Wild animals in my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here. Five. Our costumes, Wash! Two, one! Hey, right on time! Jimmy. I do for you. After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage too while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Mmm, oysters for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm the living 
Stone's new cat! <laughs> 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 Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will you, you know, know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage, courage deep inside you, little wild, wild boy? <laughs> <laughs> Same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Oh, no! Not the TV! Oh, no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend. But that's way too dangerous. The Living Stones will surely find out. The last few times it was already risky enough. Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, did there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're gonna embarrass him to death uh. by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Mm -hmm. And it'll never work! Mm -hmm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are, anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. We're going to go play in the yard. See you later. It's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are gonna scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the fu- We should have left sooner. How are we ever gonna find him? Oh, oh there! It's him! <laughs> Phew, that was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. In moments like this, the only red thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, oh, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam. Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. 
Mitch, don't cry. Because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true. I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. What? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. You're sure not going to play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. <laughs> Go on, start counting. Same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Why is this being taken for a ride? Four, Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitch will never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. <gasps> Sam, Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh, no, don't tell me that. I'm going to start to stress. All is lost. Mitch is gonna take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm gonna spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriends who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? Eugenie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can have ideas. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Well, it's also Mitch's middle name. Because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right. Let's go. Sam? Go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch my TV! No, oh, no! I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way! I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! I didn't find anything! What? <laughs> Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear the is the day that, that Mitch shall no longer be a danger, danger to you. Try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? 
Whoa! You were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Hey, 
eat the acorns all night. <laughs> this is really starting to get on my nerves. We can't see anything. That toy, it's driving them both nuts. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. This morning. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. Uh? <laughs> Victoria! Oh, my poor little Vic! Meow. You spent the whole night outside? Meow. Yeah. Really? This time you went too far, Sam. with my toy. That was dumb. Shall we make up? Okay, Sam. You win. It's all yours. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a real cat, you would know that real cats never give up. <laughs> uh, you okay, Vic? <laughs> come back in for his snack. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? <laughs> it disappeared. Help. Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the TV. We've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, 
Whatever you do, stay here! It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Please, take care of you, Genie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Wow, wow. 